Okay, guys. Uh, so here in Eclipse IDE, in previous session, I have created this JSTL example dynamic web project. And here inside this web content folder, inside this web INF and LIB folder, I copied these two jar files inside this LIB folder and then added these two jars into build path. Uh, sorry guys, previously I copied and added in build path the zip files, but make sure that after downloading, you have to unzip these jar files and then copy them in a LIB folder and after then add these files to your build path. Now, um, why these two jar files are required for JSTL programming? Uh, just because javax.servlet.jsp.jstl-api jar is simply having all the related interfaces to um, JSTL code tags. Uh, whereas this javax.servlet.jsp.jstl jar is simply implementing those interfaces available inside this JSTL API jar. So that is why these two uh, jar files are required here inside this LIB folder. Now, in order to uh, write our first JSTL program, we need a JSP file. Okay guys, if you are experienced Java web application programmer, they, then you will be aware that uh, we put JSP files inside this web content folder and all the servlets inside this Java resources folder. But right now we are interested in writing our JSTL program, first JSTL program. So for that purpose, we need a JSP file. So in order to uh, add a JSP file, right click on web content folder, choose new and choose here JSP file. Now choose the name of the JSP file. So I'm going to say here JSTL example. Okay, so here our JSTL uh, file has been generated and look, it is a plain old JSP file. Okay, so here in JSTL file, first of all, I'm going to set the title tag here with the title text. Okay, now then, in order to write our JSTL tags right here inside body, we need to import the JSTL core tag library. And for that purpose, I'm going to use here JSTL tag lib directive. So, look here. This is known as JSTL tag lib directive. Uh, look the syntax. It is a scriptlet tag opening here and closing here. Inside this scriptlet tag, we have a tag lib directive. This tag lib, tag lib directive has a mandatory URI attribute. And this URI attribute is set to JSTL core tag library. Now here this prefix is assigned a prefix value C. Using this prefix, we will be using JSTL core tags from this library inside our code. Now here I'm going to use the first JSTL core tag that is C colon out. It is a self-closing tag. C out JSTL tag is used to send the messages to browser. So in order to send the message to browser, we have to use this value attribute of this JSTL code C out tag. Here inside this value attribute, I'm going to assign an expression language syntax that is EL syntax. Inside this uh, expression language syntax, I'm going to assign a string here. And inside this string, I'm going to put the message I want to send to the browser inside this B tag, that is bold tag. Here I'm going to say, this is C out example. Okay. So if I run this JSP file, Inside body, the C out JSTL code tag will simply send the string inside this EL of this value attribute to the browser. Uh, what I am expecting right now here is a bold uh, string or a bold text. This is C out example inside browser. So let's run this file. I'm going to right click over here, run as, 
run on server click finish okay now here we have the output so the c out gstl core tag is simply sending this text inside this el that is expression language to the browser right here look here the b tag i mean the html tag is escaped right here and why this b tag has been escaped what does it mean by this b tag or html b tag is escaped it means the b tag is not executing inside browser instead it became the part of the uh, output message and why is this because this b tag b tag is being escaped by the c out tag and why is it it is just because there is a hidden attribute escape xml and that hidden attribute escape xml is already set to true by default so that escape xml hidden attribute available inside the c out is simply escaping this b tag and that's why this b tag is part of the output message as well so we will look uh, in next example how to deal with that escape xml attribute so that this b tag must not be escaped instead it must get executed